What do vloggers talk about when they have nothing to talk about? The news. Red Squirrel News. Bringing you the world's current events no matter how vaguely we understand them. <sighs> Lasers make me feel weird. <sighs> Our top story. Swine flu fever sweeps the nation. <laughs> See how I worked in the word fever there? <laughs> you know, because like, cause like, swine flu g gives you a fever and then kills you. America, here at Red Squirrel News, we're going to treat this story the way the rest of the world is. Oh my god, we're all gonna die! This deadly new mutation of the flu, which kills over 12,000 people a year, has already killed a whopping one person in America. Ladies and gentlemen of America, I think it's quite clear that we should be running for the bomb shelters. Just look at the effect that swine flu has already had on the world. I don't know why I'm holding these pieces of paper. I mean, there's, there's nothing on them. There's... Also, I'm not wearing pants. But in all seriousness, I can kind of see where the panic is coming from. It may have only killed one person in America so far, but it did kill a lot of people in Mexico. And even though right now it's pretty much the same thing as the normal flu, it has the potential to mutate into something a lot more deadly. So yes, please, wash your hands and cover your mouth and stuff. But don't panic, because in the end, panicking is going to make things a lot worse than the swine flu probably could. I mean, think about it. If you go to the hospital because you think you have the swine flu when you just have the normal flu or even just a cold, you're preventing a person who really needs medical attention from getting medical attention. If the emergency room is filled up with swine flu victims, the guy who got shot is probably going to die. So let me say it again. Be careful, but don't panic. In other news, yesterday was National Prayer Day. Or something like that. I don't know. Now, every year he was in office, George W. Bush threw a big celebration on Prayer Day. But President Obama did nothing to celebrate. Hmm. Now, I think this is simply outrageous. Because if there's anyone you should base your presidential performance off of, it should be George W. Bush. Besides, it's not like we have separation of church and state in this country. What's that? Uh, oh, oh, we do have separation of church and state. So, what's the big deal? That's stupid. Broadcasting to you from an undisclosed location, this has been Red Squirrel News. America, here at Red Squirrel News, we're a heated 